There you go. So this is the chassis of the board. So now... Vaishali Shirma, Young Tinker Academy, India. So when was the last time you held a screwdriver in your hand? Or when was the last time you created something out of your own hands? Did you feel happy? Did you feel good that you have created something, you have accomplished something? Well, that's the power of hands-on activity. Namaste, my name is Vaishali and I have come all the way from India. While growing up, I was really fascinated with science and technology, which is why I did my engineering. I started my initiative to, with a mission to democratize hands-on activities to create makers and innovators of the future. I left my job and I started with this initiative. We started with just three students, and as we were reaching to more and more students, we realized that there were three major challenges. The first one being unaffordable or inaccessibility to STEAM education. Second, lack of women role models in STEAM. And third, less or no content in the indigenous languages. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you with Young Thinker Academy. With Young Tinker Academy, this is our solution to the mentioned challenges. This is a tinker space where students of age 8 to 18 years can come and interact. They can collaborate and become problem solvers of the future. Here, as you can see in the picture, we have a student is given with the 3D printers, drilling machines. They are equipped with all the electronics and robotics. Now, how do we solve this problem? How do we teach students about science? So this is the kit that we have developed. So let's unlock it. Interesting, right? So that's the expression and experience of a child when he opens, he or she opens it. Now, every tinkering starts with a storytelling. If suppose I want to teach a student about making a bot or a, uh, say, a car, so it starts with a story of a traffic light. So a student learns about the road system and then eventually move forward into making a bot. Now, how does the student make a bot? There you go. So this is the chassis of the bot. So now you have the wheels, you can place the wheel over here. You have the motor and everything, and then you can make something like this. So this is the basic model, which you can go from here to here. So this is a wired board that our student can use and they can make. If you want to make it wireless, you can add sensors on it. If you want to make a car that is something like a Tesla, which we can like, detect the obstacle in front of it, you can add again another sensors and each and everything can be done. So a simple kit, a simple bot can be upgraded and advanced to um, many projects. So with this, with this one kit, you can make not just one, not just hundred, but more than thousand projects. Yes, and this is again a, one of the projects that, that can be made out of it. So it is a model of a cube-sized satellite that a student can make out of it. And you will be happy to know that these tinker kits are designed and manufactured by the rural women of our country. These women also contribute towards the content creation in the indigenous languages. <coughs> So, and the best part is that our students' work is now speaking about the good part that we do in our organization. As you can see, this is a rover that was designed and manufactured by the students. This rover won World Rank 3 at NASA's Rover Challenge. We, our students from the remote part of the country, competed with the best teams of the world. Our mission is to create problem solvers. Through this tinkering culture, we, some will become makers, some will become innovators, some few might become entrepreneurs, but everyone will become a problem solver. They might do any job or they might become an entrepreneur, but everyone will know how to come up with a solution. 
through this Young Thinker Academy, through our students, we have realized that every student needs a platform to shine. And with the Young Thinker Academy, we are providing that very platform. Thank you. Thank you, Vaishali. So I see first questions coming up. Monica, please. Thank you, Vaishali. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how many students you have reached and how many regions, just broader all the impact of the project? Okay, so we started with just three students, but now after this journey, we have impacted more than 150,000 students, not just from the rural part of the country, but from all across the world. And a question from Laura. Thanks. It's a fantastic project, and I see it's, it's quite engineering-based, so I see the E of STEAM. I don't see the A. Can you talk to me a little bit about where the A of STEAM comes into this project? Sure. So, as you know, every science or designing is not uh, complete without the arts part. So, as I said, every tinkering begins with the storytelling. It begins with the problem statement. So, we don't encourage, like, we don't just give up with the solution, but we encourage our student to come up with a solution. So, they are gone through a proper design thinking session where they find out solution, they interact with people, they also work on the designing and prototyping of the project. So, yeah, that's the art part of it. And a question from the audience. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like an, an excellent project. Uh, I would like to know if you're working about also how to ask the questions that need, uh, that need the solution. So, uh, I hope I understood your question correct. So, we encourage the student to come up with a solution. We just give them a problem statement. We just tell them, okay, you need to make a so-and-so project. And they then talk among with themselves. They interact with people. And then they come up with a multiple solution. All the way in the back, we have a question. So many questions. <laughs> I mean, how, how do they come? Do you work with them about asking, finding the okay, questions okay, that okay. need the solutions? So, yeah, so these students talk uh, within the community. They then uh, come up. So, one more thing that I missed to tell is that we are also setting up young thinker spaces in schools and community. So, this is the place where the students can come, they can collaborate with each other, they can interact with each other, and they can get many ideas. They can ideate and then they can come up with a solution. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Vaishali. Thank you so much.